Finally is CRP or C-reactor protein or procalcitonin. So both of these can be used as a marker of appropriate therapy after initiating antibiotics. They are sometimes used as a diagnostic tool, although there are some caveats. So for CRP, it can take a little bit of time for the CRP to rise in the setting of sepsis. So just because the CRP doesn't look super elevated doesn't mean there's not sepsis. Procalcitonin is very sensitive at, after 72 hours of life, and it does rise faster in the setting of clinical sepsis. So that makes it an appealing diagnostic tool. But we still don't have a lot of information about what level we should be looking at for diagnosis. So some recommends greater than 0 0.5. Some literature says just greater than 2. So a lot of variability. So we can get a procalcitonin, but as a diagnostic tool, not as clear, but definitely as a marker of appropriate therapy.